So with this one, very simple system, you can load up 500 parts, hit go, it'll run through all five trays, and then queue you up to come refill your trays when you're done. I understand, yeah, a couple more things here, you know. This is another situation where we've got a, a little bit of a simpler robot with drawer systems. So this type of robot is better if you have like short run production runs, whereas the previous style robot is kind of good for ultimate flexibility. So with this one, very simple system, you can load up 500 parts, hit go, it'll run through all five trays, and then queue you up to come refill your trays when you're done. I like the tray system a lot, especially for exactly what you just described. I'm seeing this setup here, Graham, and I just want to ask you, um, because we see cobots and robots and we know that robots are more of the uh, higher speeds and we have to stay away from them because they move quicker and potentially we could be some sort of danger in that kind of situation. Sure. But cobots allow us, obviously, collaborative robots allow us to walk into situations are both a, uh, available through JTEC or, or is what we're looking at pretty much sure. the standard? So we've done some with Cobots, but I will say most of our machines do still lend themselves to kind of production mm -hmm. situations. And the speed of a system like this really does pair better with our technology in most uh, in most cases. So we kind of concentrate more on the, you know, that style versus the Cobot. And let's be fair. I mean, the trays, while they're extremely usable and extremely uh, uh, flexible and, and friendly for the operator, at the same time, you can go through one tray. You don't have to set up all five trays. It can also be high mix and low volume it, based on your setup to go along with the speed of the robot. It certainly can be, yeah. You can have different jobs set up on every tray or even fractions of trays. So it can be flexible as well. So, I think that's yeah. important for the audience to understand also is just because I have something, I can still get creative sure. and do multiple things with it. I mean, a lot of us pivoted over the last few years. It's something we knew that we were going to do for years and years or have been doing for years and go, uh-oh. We're having a downturn. How can we get into whatever the next bit is, right? Sure. And, I, and I think that, that sales like that allow us to be flexible.